morning friends. IIT Hyderabad has started its journey about 12 years back, 2008. And it is within these 12 years, it has become one of the fastest growing institutions in the country now. And if you look at various rankings that you keep hearing, whether it is NIRF ranking, last four years we have been number eight among the engineering institutions in the country. And even recently QS ranking also, we are one of the top 10 institutions from India to be listed in QS rankings. All these things speak a lot about the hard work that the faculty and the students have been putting to bring a very dynamic and active research and academic institution which we are all proud of. Right now, IIT Hyderabad has completed its first phase of construction. The second phase of construction is going on. As a part of the first phase of construction, we have three blocks which have been completed, academic blocks. One is meant for civil engineering, one is meant for mechanical engineering and the third one uh, is a building which is meant for chemical engineering where all the 13 departments of IIT Hyderabad right now, if I include the latest department which is the Department of Entrepreneurship and Management, all the 14 departments are located in these three buildings and, uh, and then the academics and research, everything is happening in these areas. In addition, we also have uh, uh, students' uh, hostels uh, with a capacity of about 2,500 right now and we want to grow in the next uh, four years or so to about 5,000 capacity hostels. That's the direction in which we are moving and uh, accordingly a faculty strength of about 400 and a non-teaching staff strength of about 450 or so. So that's the direction by 2025 we would like to reach that kind of numbers and efforts are on to uh, help us to grow in that direction. We are adding uh, uh, more hostels, more accommodation for faculty and staff on the campus in order to ensure that we achieve these numbers very soon. In addition, we have in the second phase of construction almost uh, uh, a separate building for each of the departments is coming up, Okay, starting from uh, uh, the various departments, uh, whether it is computer science, electrical, and talk about materials department, physics, chemistry departments, and mathematics department, uh, and also department of design. Every department, uh, a new building is coming up, which we expect in about a year and a half, we will be ready with all these new buildings. In addition, we have a state of the art, uh, you know, knowledge center coming up, a state of the art uh, convention center coming up. Uh, and as, as mentioned before, we also have a research park with about 1.5 lakh square foot area and an incubation cell with about 1.5 lakh square foot area. All these are under construction right now under phase two. And, and in addition, we also have a huge sports complex coming up with almost a Olympic size uh, swimming pool and various other sports activities with a very unique uh, you know, design of this building which is coming up which will be ready very soon. We also want to have within a year or so a Zen garden, a Japanese garden on the campus uh, so that we will uh, pay tribute to the support that uh, Japanese government has been giving to IIT Hyderabad which is a very unique support that we have got when compared to all other IITs.
there is a lot of uh, uh, innovative research that is happening in IIT Hyderabad and if I can put all of them into a nutshell, I would say a few thrust areas in which we are working. One, I would call it as healthcare. Healthcare is an area where a lot of activity is happening both uh, in terms of uh, uh, fundamental studies to even devices uh, are coming up with prototypes of various devices. That's an area where we are making a very strong progress. In addition to that, we are also strong on AI. Mm. AI is an area not only in teaching AI uh, to the students and institutes all around us, but also doing a very innovative research in the areas of AI and various applications starting from agriculture. We are also very strong in, in network, uh, wireless networking. For example, 5G is an area where IIT Hyderabad has been contributing significantly. We are also uh, coming up uh, with a new uh, center uh, on, uh, on autonomous navigation, which is being supported by DST uh, uh, with about almost 135 crores. This is a uh, huge facility of a test bed, which can test autonomous vehicles is coming up uh, which will be possibly first of its kind in the country in an academic setup. This is another area. Uh, another research area that I can mention is nano devices. A lot of activity is happening on the nano devices uh, where uh, whether they are for uh, uh, electronic applications or uh, healthcare applications and people are working a lot in those areas. Mm. Manufacturing in another area where a lot of activity is happening. Uh, additive manufacturing is one that I can mention and also uh, robotics is another area where a lot of activity is happening. Mm. People are also developing various sensors uh, uh, in, uh, for various applications whether it is gas sensors or you know or, uh, or sensors for uh, uh, you know um, mechanical actuation and variety of sensor activity is happening at IIT Hyderabad. IIT Hyderabad um, has uh, within this 12 years has uh, uh, established itself as uh, an institute which is uh, uh, possibly the fastest growing institute in the country in both academics and research. We would like to continue this and also be a part of the uh, country's growth at various levels um, and uh, uh, keep innovating and inventing as we keep uh, uh, our motto as invent and innovate in technology for humanity and we will keep doing this as the years go by and you will see IIT Hyderabad playing uh, a significant role in the growth of the country and in the Arsman Edward Bharat. Thank you very much.